Okay, so if f of x is ax plus b, first thing you want to do is rewrite this f of x to be y. So we have y equals ax plus b, where a and b are constants. And if f of 0 equals 4 and f of 2 equals 6, for what value does uh, of f does f of x equals 10? So what we're going to do is we're going to have two equations with a and b unknown. And when we solve for a and b, uh, that is basically going to lead us to the answer. I'm going to share a screen now. Okay, so we're going to uh, write y equals ax plus b, that is a function. And then we have f of 0 equals 4, f of 2 equals 6, and we're looking for f of x equals, zero, equals 10, and then what is the x? Uh, another thing you need to know is that here, f of 0 equals 4 means that the number in brackets is basically x. You can see it here, f of x, so means x is 0. And then 4 basically represents y, because f of x is just another way of saying y, which means that we have y is 4. Then here we have x is the number in brackets, which is 2. And then y is this number over here, which is 6. What we're going to do now is we're going to create first equation for this pair and another equation for the second pair of numbers. And we're going to do that by plugging it in into this function. So instead of x, we're going to put 0. Instead of y, we're going to put 4 for the first equation. For the second equation, instead of x, we're going to put 2. Instead of y, we're going to put 6. So first equation is going to be 4 equals a times 0 plus b. For the second equation, we're going to have 6 equals a times 2 plus b. And now we're just going to have to solve for a and b. From the first equation, we have that 4. This is system. Uh, 4 equals a times 0 is 0, so it means that 4 equals b, which means b equals 4, and we're just going to plug it into the second equation, uh, which means we have 6 equals a times 2 plus 4, because b is 4, which means we have 6 minus 4 equals 2a, 2 equals 2a divided by 2 a equals 1, which means that we now have a whole equation. y, which was ax plus b, is now y is 1 times x plus 4. And y is just another way of saying f of, f of x, right? Which means we have f of x is 1 times x, or just x plus 4. That is our equation, our function. And the question was, what is x if f of x equals 10. So if f of x equals 10, we're just going to plug it in here instead of f of x. And then we have 10 equals x plus 4. If we just um, subtract 4 from both sides, we're going to have that 10 minus 4 equals x, or that 6 equals x, or that x, x equals 6. And our answer is that if f of x equals 10, then x must equal 6. And that is our, our final answer.